Okay, the live stream, it has been one minute. Um, we can, we will begin our live stream now, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome, and today we're going to be having a, our first ever live stream, but yes, thank you for waiting, all of you. Um, yes, it's only been one minute. You have to wait like 10 minutes for a normal live stream. Now, there are, so what we're going to be talking about today is people of the earth there are different people who care about different things there are two groups the ecos and the um and what do you call them um I'm so sure. there's one people who care um, about the environment and then there's one group of people no, who don't care about the environment the ordinary people of the earth. Mm -hmm. but right now um only 20 percent of the world is um eco and, and, the, 80, and the other 80 percent is not Yes, so um, in this video, we're going to be trying to convince, persuade everyone to try to take care of the earth, like, um, yes. Like, in some cold countries, it'll become hot soon if you don't care about it. In hot countries, it'll become cold, and the plants there won't be able to live. So, it, whatever you do will affect... Hot countries will become even more hot, basically. Basically, yes, or cold. So every action you do to the earth affects it. And right now, a lot of people are actually trying their best, but that 80%, 80 is a lot. And by 80%, I mean like, maybe it's an 80 million or something, I don't know. 80 million people might not be taking care of the earth. 80%, so there's like 100%, so only 20% of everybody who lives in the world is actually caring about the earth. So yeah. we need to get more people to care about the earth, or otherwise this earth will be doomed. And just like um kids out there who take care, who say, who say kindness is good, yes, you're right, kindness is good. To everyone, the earth, plants, animals, don't just think it's good for humans, it's good for the earth. Plants, animals, do it to everything you see. Yes. Take care of plants. You can say compliments to plants. People might think you're crazy, but forget about it. Just say, you're a nice plant. We couldn't live without you. Just say a compliment. Yes, you really can't really live without plants. That's the only reason you're alive today, if you think about it. Yes. And because air, of course, is more important, oxygen is more important than water. It's the only thing. The average person can only survive four minutes without air. The av then the average person can survive four days without water, four weeks without food, and probably, I think, four months without sleep, something like that. So basically, well, uh, let's ignore the sleeping and food part. Just see the first two, air and water. Right now, water is, well, a lot. You can see it's a lot, but of that, there's only a limited amount, limited amount of fresh wa water. The Great Lakes support the most. If you're living near a lake, if you're living in America and Canada, you should, you guys should be taking care of in the most of the environment because you live right by a big Great Lake. And if you're living near Lake Superior, you might have heard that the pollution that's in there travels to La Lake Huron and Lake Michigan and travels to Lake Erie and goes out into the ocean. And um, fun fact, the United States actually um, 
I'm not saying this as a bad compliment. I'm just telling you as a fact. It takes a little bit more water than Canada. Um, may, may be because of its high population, of course. Yes. So we're going to be trying to, so of course, to persuade you. Uh, to persuade you, basically, um, we're trying to just take care of the world around you. Water your garden every day, if unless it's winter, because you know your garden's automatically getting watered by the snow. And in the spring and summer, try to you know water your garden more often. Go outside to, and try not to step on as much as plants. Like you know how you have those little um, plants growing out of your um, concrete and stuff. Well, try not to step on those. I I know it's hard to not step on those. It's I know, but still try not because so, those uh, are plants. Can you see this picture of the earth here? Can you see that brown patches of land? That's the land that's actually facing droughts because of the water levels that are getting dried up because of the heat. So <clears throat> if you've learned about evaporation, all the water that hits the land gets evaporated before it can hit the land um, because it's so hot there. And you might be thinking, well, why isn't, why isn't the entire of lower Africa like entirely green? That's because it's also hot mostly where it is. The top, the bottom, only the middle is cool. It has a roof for it. That's why. Um, yes. So um, also, when you see an, someone hurting an animal or anything, just tell them to, like, you know, stop. Because and that's you can cool. report it to the an, a, animal re, um, abuse um, system in your c county. Or you can tell the police because police also care about animals for sure. They do. Um, also, um, when you have like uh, like um, any pet or anything, make sure you take care of it too because that's also an animal. Even though it's not a wild animal, it doesn't mean that you can't take care of it. You have to take care of it. It's a it's your animal. And if you if humans see say where where the trees are all gone, now now we only plant one tree, one tree, but then humans suddenly go extinct. What would happen to the world? Farm animals and dogs and cats. All of those animals will run loose and you don't know what's going to happen. So, um, yes. So, to round up everything we've said, don't step on plants. Report any animal abuse and don't do animal abuse yourself. Um, if any, if, uh, if there's any, some, anybody wasting water, like, and like randomly, they're just throwing their water on on the ground randomly. Tell them to stop because they're not going to get water for themselves. And if there's anybody like, you know, uh, like just saying re mean things to a plant or anything, or just like pushing the plant, breaking its branches, just tell them, just tell that person, well, you're not going to get oxygen from this plant anymore, sir or ma'am. You're just going to die. Yeah, because um, if you continue to kill plants, plants give you oxygen and take in the harmful things. So if you start killing plants or cutting down or any kind of plant, it's not just trees, um, in the future you might not actually have um, oxygen to live. And yes, um, if you look here, um, for the past years, um, North America has flooded um, like, like a lot. Well, not a lot, like a little bit. Um, you could say Florida, for one example. It's kind of flooded already. It flooded la in the last 50, 50 or 100 years, something like that. And you see this Hudson Bay. You think that we also caused this flooding. No, that was a natural flooding because of icebergs. But it could increase the flood. Now, this is new land. If if And if we increase the pollution we're doing... Yes, this will entirely flood, and new, the new part of Ontario and Manitoba and Quebec and other stuff will all flood, and Canada will be twice as small as the United States. So yeah. whenever you see any pollution or anything or someone doing anything bad... You can, the, you can actually say stop. You have your own words. You can say stop. You can stand up for your Earth, because Earth does not have a voice, so you can be Earth's voice today. Yes. Take care, Mother Earth, and we'll see you on the next video. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.